Hey everyone, so in this video, I will show you how to write SQL code in Python. SQL is short for Structured Query Language, which is used often to create, read, update, and delete data from databases. So to write SQL in Python, you will need the SQLite 3 library. This library will, will allow us to write commands to the database and also query from it. Next, we will create a database file. Now, in this case, I'm going to call my file fruits.db, but you can feel free to call it anything else. I'm calling it fruits because my database will be about fruits, but whatever you call it, make sure to have the .db extension at the back. Now, for this to work, we're going to have to create two variables. First is called connection, which is sqlite3.connect and the database file. Second one is called cursor, which is simply connection.cursor. Connection allows us to actually connect to the database and cursor allows, cursor allows us to read and write to the database. Now let's actually create the database. So we'll do def create database. Now, first we have to global in our two variables, which are connection and cursor. Now what we do is we do cursor dot execute, execute, and three quotation marks. The other three will be added in for us and a semicolon at the end over here. Now, anything we write inside these quotation marks is SQL code. But first I want to create table, and then the name of my table, which is fruits. Inside here, I will do an ID, which will be an integer primary key, and also a name, which is lowercase, and text. So basically what I did is I created two columns inside the table fruits, and the ID is basically like the ID number and the name, which is text, is just the name of the fruit. Outside of this, we have to do connection.commit, which actually updates these changes in our database file. Now to run this function, I will do its name equals name. And I will call the function create database. Now here we have process finished with exit code zero, which means that it worked and our database is now created. If I now switch my screens to an application called database browser, we can clearly see that our database has been made and that ID and name, both those columns exist in the database called fruits. Next, let's add to the database. We have to, once again, global in the two variables, connection and cursor. We do cursor.execute. Once again, three quotation marks and a semicolon. This time we say insert into fruits, which is the name of our database, values, ID, I will say just one. And for the name, I will put Apple. Now outside, we have to do connection.commit to actually update these changes to the database. Down here, if I run this function and I change my screen, right now we see that we have nothing here. But if I refresh, we can see that we have Apple added to our fruits database. Now we will read from the database and I will have a variable called first match, which is equal to cursor.execute. And inside here, we do select ID and name from our database, which is called fruits. And down here, we have to do dot fetch one 
And so what this is doing is it's taking the ID and name from the fruits variable and it's storing it in the first match variable. Now what we can do down here is we can print first match and we can do read database. If I run this, we can see that it has successfully printed one and apple, which is the only value we have in our database right now. So that works. Now we will update a row in the database. Here we will again do cursor dot execute. And this time we will do up update for let's, which is the name of our database. Set name equal to, and this time I'll say banana, where ID is equal to one. And I'm sorry, this name should also have quotations. And down here, again, we do connection dot commit. And so what this does is it looks at our database fruits and it sets the name to banana wherever ID is one. And so currently at ID one, we have apple and it will change that to banana. So down here, if I run update row, and I change my screens. When I refresh this, this should be changed to banana, as we can see over here. Now, uh, this is not fitting in the small box, but we can see it over here that ID one has been changed to banana. Lastly, you will now delete a row from the database. We'll create a function called delete row global input variables here we once again do cursor dot execute and we say delete from fruits where id is equal to one and we do connection dot commit outside of this and so what this does is it deletes um the row where id is equal to one and right now at id one we have banana so it will delete that row and the database will then be empty so if we run this and if i refresh this we can see that the database is now empty and there is no id one and the banana here was gone and so the row was successfully deleted from the database.